So my next guest knows his way around the kitchen. He's actually one of my favorites here. Eric Kim is a staff writer and columnist for the New York Times, where he shares some of my favorite recipes on the planet. His debut cookbook, Korean American Food That Tastes Like Home, was an instant New York Times bestseller. It's filled with delicious dishes close to his heart and the holidays inspired by his upbringing in Atlanta, where he grew up the child of Korean immigrants. Please welcome back Eric Kim. <laughs> Listen, you are one of the most talented food writers in the business. You make food approachable, fun, but you make it mean something. I know your your mom lives in Atlanta, Jean. And I see her in a few days. And Atlanta. you'll see her in a few days. And this is something, this recipe that you're going to make for us, inspired by a friend of hers. Yes, yes. Her friend Judy is a Korean woman who grew up in South America. She grew up in Argentina. So... We grew up, we, they met later in Atlanta, and we grew up eating Argentine empanadas, which doesn't seem Korean American, but I think that's what's cool about the story. Korean American means many things. Wow. And these empanadas are something I would have every Christmas because it's a once a year thing. And don't you think food's like more special when you have it once a year? I do, but I, what's more special is that you drive 14 hours from New York to Atlanta oh. Oh, and your yeah. mom <laughs> packs up <I> <laughs> 10 empanadas for him to ride back on the road with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's actually one of these, one of these recipes, and it's it's just like the perfect parcel of food. Yeah. And you don't need to microwave it or anything. It's just like on the go. I can like pick it up with my hands. I don't have to stop. I love you call it grown up hot pockets. Yeah. <laughs> grown up hot pockets. I grew up loving hot pockets. I did too. All right, so this is the, the yeah, amplified, let, leveled up version of it. So let's take it little, away. It's go a ahead. little leveled up, but it's also really simple. So okay. you start with some good meat. I know you love meat, Tamara. Yes, I do. I'm um, and, and with this, you're just going to salt and pepper it a little bit. Okay. This is like already cooked with some onion. Mm -hmm. And it's very simple. And But the thing that really makes it um, is the, we're going to add some tomato sauce here. Okay. And it's basically like almost like a spaghetti sauce, but what really makes this sauce special is the hard boiled egg and the olive. Wow. And it's it's very like retro, I think, which I, I just love that combination okay. of meat sauce and egg egg and like mm. an olive. Okay, so we've it's, got our sauce in. Yeah, yeah. And actually we can just go ahead and start filling. I think okay. this is the fun part. My mom and I would do this every Christmas together. And you know, I call these sort of like they remind me of dirty martinis because you get to the end of the empanada and it's a little olive and very savory and it's just I have these with martinis. Uh, oh, you know, okay. like a nice vodka, you. Vodka now, so martini. once, <laughs> once your your meat is cooked down and cooled, yeah, yeah. you pull it off. We have it here. We have some filling here, so take a take a wrapper. Okay, take it. It will help here. you if you put it in your palm. Okay. Yeah, exactly. All right. Doesn't it feel nice? It does. I told yeah. you my son Moses loves cooking, so this is a yeah. fun thing to yes. do, as you said, for exactly. the family. Exactly. Exactly. Now, do you have a technique of yes, where to place? Yeah. Just in the center. Okay. And you don't want too much, but just yeah, that one, one spoonful is good. But like this? Yeah, just okay. like that. Okay. And what's really cool about this is the hard boiled egg. It seems random, but it breaks up the salty, savory meat sauce. So you have, I don't know, I love eggs. I about you love guys. this. I love eggs. So we're adding our eggs. Yeah, in just there. like a couple. A couple. This is, I'm telling you, this was so surprising to me. Yeah. All right. It's so nice, it. it's nice. And then you just add one olive at the end like this. At the end like this. Okay. And the, and the reason is you eat the little thing, it's like it's like a little crescent moon, and then when you get to the end of it, it's the, the last olive bite. Look That's how just beautifully really special. word food. I mean, this is why <laughs> you're brilliant at this. Um, and then you know you can just use your fingers. This so is my finger. it, it, you can also lay it down if you want. Okay, but lay it what down. helps is I dip my fingers into the water. Okay. It's sort of like making a dumpling, okay. and you just wet the outside. Wet the outside. That's okay. It. And then. You oh, fold do it we in add half. the mozzarella? Oh yeah, the mozzarella. Thanks. <laughs> See, I studied this recipe. I'm yeah, you did. <laughs> a little mozzarella. Okay. So man, this has everything. And then oh. you just fold it in half. Fold it in half. Yeah. And then yeah. you want it to be sealed. And there are many ways to do this. You can use a fork and just like go like this. Uh huh. And that's that's really easy. But my mom's way, it's sort of like. I'm going with Jean's way. Yeah, your yeah. Jean's way. way is Jean's way is cool. Okay, okay. Just grab it in your left hand like that. My left hand. Yeah. And then pull it over. Uh -huh. Pinch. Okay. Pull it over. Pinch, pull it over, pinch, okay. pull it over, pinch. All right. And you end up with kind of a skit shape. All right. All right, we're going to put these in coming up. I'm going to try the empanadas, and we'll talk much more about Eric's inspiration for the holidays and later in the show, a dessert <laughs> that will go down in holiday history as the hottest crowd pleaser. Don't go anywhere. Our second annual holiday potluck is
continues. Here we go. Welcome back, Camp, and we are with New York Times best-selling cookbook author Eric Kim, who's helping us ring in the second annual holiday potluck with an impressive empanada recipe from his book, Korean American. All right. So the recipe is called Judy's Empanadas. It's a recipe from your mom, Jean. We have our empanada in oil, getting crispy. I didn't get a chance to ask you the difference in color. We have some finished empanadas here. The difference in color in the pastry. Yeah, it's really just a natto seed in the orange one. And these are a little chewier, which uh -huh. I kind of like. Okay. But these are fluffier, so it depends on your preference. It's nice to like switch between the two, honestly. Oh, nice. Yeah. So we have them. These are we can taste them now. cool down. <laughs> Man. <laughs> mm. Is that good? Tamron always picks the best recipes. First of all, let me tell you. So I'm gonna get another one. I'm a taste test kind of person. This is so good. <laughs> the explosion yeah. of the meat, the juices, mm. the egg, that olive that you finish off with. Tell your mom to pack up some on the road for well, both of us. <laughs> mm. Mm. So when nice. I pack these up after this show, just put this like yeah. this, and then like this. No, Ma! <laughs> Eric's <laughs> holiday tradition is cooking the mouth-watering empanadas on our holiday tradition is having a good time around here during this season. I love giving y'all something. Tam fam, guess what? About to shower you with more of my favorite gifts. Empanadas are delicious! Holy moly! First up, you're gonna need some high quality ingredients to make Eric's empanadas, because we will not shame Jean or Judy in this case. So look no further than my favorite family run butcher, Rastelli's, based out of Jersey, New Jersey! Rastelli's ships meats and wild caught seafood right to your door. Rastelli's offers an incredible range of holiday staples like oven-ready roasts, incredible pre-made sides, and giftable items like surf and turf packages. Tam, fam, I hope you're hungry, because you're gonna get $250 Rastelli's gift card to beef up your holiday potluck. Now, next up, all of this food is not gonna cook itself. You're gonna need some new pots and pans for that. And the experts at OXO are known for making functional and easy to use tools and gadgets for the kitchen. The OXO Good Grips non-stick 10-piece cookware set is an essential collection of pots and pans. Its three-layer German-engineered non-stick coating provides effortless performance while its scratch-resistant bodies keep faster than traditional Aluminum, the best part. These are dishwasher safe. Everybody in the audience getting the 10-piece cookware set valued at $199. Oxo 10-piece cookware set. There you go. Next up, to get shopping with some booze blocks, cutting boards, I these are in my kitchen. I'm telling you that now. John Booz and his company has been trusted in kitchens since 1887. Booz blocks, cutting boards, kitchen cards, work surfaces, and countertops inspire home cooks and professional chefs to bring people together. I have been using these for over a decade and they have never failed me. This Booz blocks cutting board is made with solid North American maple, includes recessed finger grips, and is durable enough to withstand constant cutting and shopping. This is one of my favorite here because you can put the little stuff in there after you shop. See, look at that. And then, love that. Tam, bam. Let me tell you, all of our giveaways are special. This is extra special because this has been my like road dog in the kitchen for a long time. You're getting a Booze Blocks maple cutting board valued at nearly $100. Chop, 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 chop. Thank you so much to one of my favorite writers, Eric. Eric's empanadas recipe can be found on TamaronHallShow.com. Eric's New York Times best-selling cookbook, Korean American, 
is available where books are sold. Guess what? Everybody in the audience is getting the book too. <laughs>